a friend of mine, Julia Duncan at the time, and I had this grand idea that we would do a backyard Bible club at a church in South Wichita, and we would invite people from all through the neighborhood and have a bunch of kids come and we would start a revival in Wichita. <laughs> and so we recruited a bunch of our friends to come and help teach and lead songs and verses and game time and we called our little endeavor adventures in character. Literally I got involved off of the, the website, the promotion material. I live in a very rural area and my sister and I wanted to be more connected with other homeschoolers. So we thought that AIC would be a good way to get involved and just to build that community and we did and that's why I've come back for the next five years. I love the community of AIC and the way that serving together with other people gives you deeper relationships. I got the privilege to be a student in AIC for a couple years and grew to love it from there and was a teacher for the first time when I was 13 and now it's been 11 years I think since I first started helping and um, I love every year I've had the chance to um, help with AIC. You need to be a child to teach a child. And so I try to think about, you know, when I was seven, what did I want to learn? Well, or how did I want to be taught? What did I want to do? We launched the first Adventures in Character in the year 2000 and kind of pulled, you know, different materials for curriculum and um, drama skits, that sort of thing, and just, you know, tried to uh, make it a decent program for the kids. The Adventure is a newsletter that we publish every week during AIC season, the few weeks leading up to the convention itself. And we have different participants and people who have participated before, or maybe this is even their first year, that are sending us their thoughts about their experiences in Adventures in Character or their insights about part of our theme this year. I like that everyone is passionate not only about their faith, but about living it out and about serving in their faith, um, that people don't come to AIC um, just to put something on their resume or just to hang out with their friends. People come because they're passionate about Christ and about sharing Him and living that out um, to the kids, to the other students, just in general. When I was a student, I know I wanted to be on stage in some way. I just love acting. I'm very dramatic. And it was hilarious because when I was my very first year, I was looking at the actors to be like, one of those days I'm going to be on stage and here I am being a stage leader where I never thought I could be. This year's theme is called Quorum Deo, which means before the face of God in Latin. And the purpose of a name like that would be to show how wherever we are in life, whatever we're doing, everything that we do is for the Lord and in His presence. He sees us, He knows what's going on in our lives, He cares about that, and we ought to be like Him in that we um, seek to glorify Him in everything we do. And I've been taught something every single year at AIC, and it's just so exciting, you know, what am I going to learn this year? Who am I going to get to help out this year? What lesson is God going to show to me? I would say, honestly, the most impactful aspect of AIC for me has been growing in humility and understanding what real leadership is. Every year God steps in in a way that I never thought he was going to in just a way that totally surprises me and it basically just takes out any concept that I did this myself. It's just always really been, um, it's been a blessing for me to see how God works in AIC despite my own failures. And the Coram Deo theme that we have living now in the presence of God, serving Christ where we are, I think it's so important to teach the kids that. I always want to come back. I, I never I never want to miss this just because of all of the people that are involved. There's so many people that uh, I've gotten to know better over the years and I get to know new people every year that have so much to offer. We write the curriculum, we write the play, we write the songs, we, um, there's just totally nothing when we start and then there's this wonderful program that we get to use to serve the Lord with when we're done. I think it's really important for young people to take time to read the Gospels and to say, what did Jesus actually say? Who did he say he was? Who did he claim to be? One year we had this little nine-year-old boy in our team who was hungry all the time. And as, 
as often as he raised his hand, it was always about food. I'll never forget after the last drama before dinner break, Friday night. Of course, it ended on a cliffhanger, like it always does, and the stage leaders that year came out on stage to tell them that it was time to go eat dinner. I looked down the row at that little boy that had waited for dinner all day. He let out this loud groan and slumped down, like he was so disappointed that he had to go eat dinner instead of hearing the rest of the drama that night. 